We are now in the dock zone. You can't bend or walk without them. Our knees, those cracking sounds as you get up or even some discomfort at times can be expected as we age. But when is it time to go see a professional? Doctors John Bradway and Curtis Miller from Ortho, Arizona join us to talk about that subject. So Dr. Bradway, there is 600,000 knee replacements a year in the U.S. and it's increasing. It is. Uh, a lot of people come to us now with knee pain, usually related to uh, injuries in younger people and in the elderly population, uh, usually just wear and tear. We think it has a lot of genetic component to it as well. And when those issues come up, before they go down the surgery route, you try to do some other methods before. Correct. Oftentimes, people modify their activities. Occasionally, they'll use ambulatory aids, medications like non or Tylenol or pain medication. Sometimes injections work, bracing physical therapy, so there are a lot of non-operative treatments we will often try prior to surgery. So Dr. Miller, when we go down the surgery route, what process, like how does that process work? And then we can talk a little bit, Dr. Bradway, about the recovery time. Sure. Well, patients will typically present to us with pain and disability due to their arthritic knee. They'll often have some type of workup, including x-rays and a physical examination. Uh, depending on the age of the patient, they may require a preoperative workup by their uh, primary care physician regarding their medical condition. Once they've been cleared for surgery, the surgery is scheduled, they'll go through a process of a surgical procedure that takes a little over an hour, sometimes a little longer depending on the patient. They're typically in the hospital a couple of days, perhaps two or three days, and then often go home with physical therapy and rehabilitation to try to recover and rehabilitate their uh, surgical knee. So Dr. Bradway, let's talk about the longevity of the knee, because I'm sure that's a big question you get from your patients. It is. It's a very common question. So uh, the literature, the uh, evidence-based literature we have indicates that uh, on average, 14 to 16 years later, uh, about 85 to 90 percent of the knees uh, with uh, replacements within um, are doing well. Uh, so it's not a matter of how many miles, how many steps. Uh, but it does have a lot to do with wear and tear over a period of time and how patients take care of their knees as well. So, Dr. Miller, do you get a lot of those questions from your patients, like how long is it going to last, and, and, and in those younger patients too? Yes, definitely. And they want to know what kind of activities they can do after a knee replacement. Let's talk about some of those activities. You know, what can they do? Well, as Dr. Bradway said, there is a limited lifespan to the lining of the knee replacement. So the more uh, high impact activities one does, potentially it could wear out sooner. However, many people are active in sports. Many people play tennis, golf, bowl, hike, all sorts of activities. Let's talk a little bit about there is certain t total knee designs out there that you can use when you're doing a procedure for someone. It's not about which artificial knee you're using, is it? Uh, that's exactly correct. There's a lot uh, uh, direct to consumer marketing now. And people will hear a lot on TV about different kinds, uh, gender knees and different uh, types of things like this. Um, there is really no one best knee replacement. If that was the case, we'd all be using it mm -hmm. as much as the marketing people would like to uh, have us believe that. Uh, so we get asked those questions. Uh, but uh, in essence, and I'll just use your little design here, uh, the idea of the knee replacement here is to replicate uh, largely what the knee looks like on the inside at the ends of the bones where they meet with um, products, uh, plastic and metal and so forth. So the key is not so much the fancy name, but trusting your surgeon and that he has had some experience with the particular knee replacement he uses. Many of them out there today are perfectly satisfactory and have a great longevity and track record. And that's something you get from a lot of your patients when they come in and meet with you? Definitely. Many of them have seen specific ads on TV and they request that knee replacement. And I will often tell them that I'd be willing to look at that knee replacement, but I may be familiar with one or two brands that, that I use typically. And uh, I agree with Dr. Bradway. There are many different knees and I think Regardless of the brand of knee that you have, you can have a good outcome. All right, this is great information. I would like to thank the doctors from Ortho, Arizona for being with us in the Doc Zone. Join us each week as we tackle new topics on joint health.